I'm Chef Nikki miller Ka. I just cooked this delicious meal for a family of four with ingredients I bought today at the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. Find out how I did it coming up on the $20 Challenge. Chef Nikki Miller Ka, and welcome to the $20 challenge where I only have $20 so I can buy enough at the farmers market to make a meal for a family of four. This week it's all about spring spice and everything nice. Let's go and find out what's in season. Let's go shopping. Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing great. Hope you are. I am doing absolutely wonderful and excellent. I saw that you have some greens, and I think I'm getting your last bag. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make a salad because you know spring salad is, okay. goes best. And I'm gonna need some accoutrements on top of this salad. Um, maybe a carrot. How much is that guy? and some onions maybe how much is a carrot it was 50 cents okay and onion okay. hold on wait don't put that in yet okay Maybe another tiny onion, even though it's not that tiny. Dollar <laughs> thirty-eight. Okay. And how much is your garlic? Garlic is seventy-five piece. Um, I'll take a garlic. And let's see here. And I think that's going to do me for today. That'd be $5.10. $5.10. Let's see here. I just happen to have $20. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'll trade. <laughs> All right. I'll write this down so I can keep a track of what I'm spending. Because when I was in college, I was an English major, not a math major. <laughs> okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten makes twenty. Thank you. Thank you very I'll much. see you Thank next you. time. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. How, are good morning. How are you? I'm well, I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you, Silas. Um, I see you've got some fresh, well, actually, I think it's your last bunch of spring onions. Yeah. How much are they? $2. $2. Okay, and I know I have $2 here. So how long have you been here at the market? 10 years. 10 years, wow. That's a pretty long time. Thank you. Thank you. And I noticed that you are a market certified grower. Yeah. What exactly does that mean? It means you have to grow your own stuff. So this is straight up from Forsyth County, exactly, really homegrown. Yes, ma'am. Exciting. Well, I'm just going to take this and be on my merry way. Silas, it was a pleasure. Okay, thank you. And I have no idea what I'm going to make, but whatever it is, I'm going to come back with samples, okay? Okay. All right, see you in a little okay, bit. <laughs> All right, so I've got the mountain habanero cheddar. That's I think that says four fifty-four, mm -hmm. and mountain butter, uh, two eighty-eight because I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. And you have bread. I don't mind if I trim these 
pennies off. I here. never mind if you trim <laughs> pennies. And I see you have bread. Did you make this bread yourself? Yeah, I've got a whole wheat baguette, white baguette, dinner roll, and then there's uh, three ocean cinnamon, and there's a whole wheat. Um, I'm a wheat bread girl, so that I'm going to... really popular. And it's $2. It was really popular. Well, I'd like to think of myself as trendy, so... <laughs> We're going to go with the whole wheat baguette as well. I, I agree. <laughs> 9.40. And guess what? Here is $10. Ta-da. Thank you. I do. I love having my own little bag. I don't have to worry about carrying around a whole bunch of shopping bags. Really? Well, I have to say I do have a uh, Dixie Classic oh, yeah, Farmer's have, Market apron, yeah, so. <laughs> wore that last year. <laughs> and trust you me, I'm going to wear it again. There we go. Thank you so much, Tim. Okay. I'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs>Good morning. morning. How are you? I uh, see so you've got some excellent goodness here, Sun Gold Farms. Yep. I have decided while I was walking over here, I'm going to make a five onion soup. Okay. And the last onion I need are chives. All right. That's and good. how much are there chives? Two dollars a bunch. Two dollars a bunch. Okay. I think I'm just going to take one bunch. Okay. Because I only had twenty dollars and now I have less than that. And there's even a little chive blossom on that one. Yep. So I'm going to take this one. All right. And I'm going to give you two dollars. Thank you. And Enjoy. hopefully I didn't spend more than. No, I think I did good. I think I did good on spending everything. So other than making the five onion soup, I have no idea what I'm going to make, but. It's okay because I'm going to come back with samples. All right. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Yep. Thanks. <laughs> now that I have my ingredients, it's time to turn this into a meal for our family of four. While we take a break, I'm going to head over to our demonstration kitchen and start prepping. And when we come back, we'll start cooking. For the best in locally grown farm fresh meats, fruits, and vegetables, shop the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. This year, we're celebrating the market's 40th anniversary with special events and contests. And don't miss the $20 challenge every second and fourth Saturday through September. Chef Nikki has just $20 to buy and prepare a complete meal for four right there in the market. It's the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market, open every Saturday year-round, 6 to 1, at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. The Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market, a Winston-Salem tradition since 1974. Welcome back to the $20 challenge. I'm Chef Nikki miller Ka, and now it's time to cook a meal for four using ingredients I just bought for $20 at the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. Today I'm going to make inside out grilled cheese sandwiches, five onion soup, and a spring salad with a simple vinaigrette. Let's get cooking. So, five onion soup. We're going to start with that first. So in the pan I've got some of that mountain butter that we uh, purchased earlier and a little bit of oil. I'm going to add char chopped chives, garlic, white onion, red onion, and most of the green onion. I'm going to reserve a little because we need a little bit of garnish for our soup. Because just because you're on a budget doesn't mean that you don't have to garnish on things. So, five onion soup. Why five onions? Well, all of the onions that I'm using, I'm sure you're familiar with green onions or spring onions. Sometimes people even call them scallions. Um, red onions, of course, they're nice and sweet. White onions, you can also use Vidalia onions, which are a little sweet as well. And garlic. That's right, folks, garlic is an onion too. So garlic is a member of the lily family, which is the same family that the red onions and the white onions and the chives even are from. And that's it makes it an onion too and it also gives your soup a great flavor so basically all I'm doing now is sauteing all five of these onions down in the butter and oil mixture and I'm gonna add a little salt and a little pepper a little salt a little black pepper I like to use white pepper sometimes because white pepper, it gives you the spice that you want without the little black specks in it. 
So typically at this point, you would add your aromatic spices and herbs as well, like thyme or rosemary, but I didn't purchase any thyme or rosemary, so I'm not gonna use it today. But I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit so these onions can cook down. So also, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, French onion soup, um, which typically is onions that are cooked down and caramelized, and then it's put in a rich beef broth and then covered with cheese. Well, this is a lighter version of that. So there's no beef broth. I'm making my own. And we do have cheese, and we could absolutely cover it with cheese, but we'll do a light sprinkling at the top, probably for a little garnish. So while these onions are working, I'm gonna get started on our inside out grilled cheese sandwiches. So, inside out, what does that mean? Well, that means that there's gonna be cheese on the outside and the inside. So what I've done is I've buttered our uh, wheat baguette bread. I've cut it on the bias, which means cut it on a slant to make the slices of bread a little bit bigger. Also, um, I've sliced up that wonderful habanero cheddar that we got and put it on these sandwiches. So I've got my butter already melted in the pan and I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Just a little. You should smell these onions in here, man. They smell delicious. Just onions, I think, are one of the best scents in the world, especially when you're cooking in the kitchen. It's some amazing things. The smells of onions cooking. And these grilled cheese sandwiches are gonna smell all toasty in a few minutes. So I'm gonna swirl the butter around in the pan like this. Make sure that all of it is coated very well. And I'm gonna put down some of that habanero cheese and put the sandwich right on top of it. So I have to admit, I've never made inside out grilled cheese sandwiches before. And I'm not entirely sure it's gonna turn out, but guess what? Trial and error, baby. <laughs> so I've got my eye pretty low because I don't want the cheese to burn. I want it to melt, but I don't want it to burn. So I put my cheese down a little bit and put the sandwich down. The cheese is starting to melt a little bit. Onions are still working. Smelling so delicious. Oh my gosh, there really is nothing more fantastic than sauteed onions in a pan. So the cheddar is melting for our grilled cheese. And I've got my spatula on deck because we're gonna turn them pretty soon. So what I like to do when I make my grilled cheese is Put the butter on the outside of the bread first, softened butter, of course, to help facilitate the uh, grilling of the sandwich. So I wanna make sure I get a nice caramelization of the cheese on the outside of the bread. And so it's still working. Onions are going. And as you can see, the onions are starting to caramelize and make something on the bottom of the pan that's called fond, F-O-N-D, fond. So what fond is, basically it's foundation, that's the good stuff, that's where all the flavor is. So in a few moments, I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid to the pan to deglaze the pan. So when you deglaze the pan, basically you're taking up that fond, all that flavor, nice good F words around here, and you're gonna bring that up and scrape the pan to make sure all of that gets in your soup and doesn't stay in the pan. So these sandwiches are almost on their way to being flipped over. I'm excited, I hope you are. And hopefully it'll turn out. <laughs> so I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little, little bit of vinegar. So when you do this, you wanna stand back because that vinegar will come right in your face 
and it'll make you cry, just like it made me cry when I chopped up these onions. <laughs> so just a little bit of vinegar. And that's gonna add an extra layer of flavor. And you can use any vinegar you want. You can use white vinegar, cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, which actually would be probably be best in this. And then after you add that vinegar, you're gonna add what I like to call what's that here sauce, also called Worcestershire sauce. And you're just gonna add a little bit of that too. And you're adding that because you want a little bit of that meaty quality that you're not getting because we're not using beef broth. So this is gonna simmer and stew a little bit. And once you add that Worcestershire sauce, you can really, really smell that dark, meaty, wonderful flavor. So, our grilled cheese. We're gonna flip it. Actually, let me check on it. All right, moment of truth. And it fell apart a little, but that's okay because that happens sometimes. And as you can see, oh yeah, we got a little bit of caramelization on the outside of that first sandwich. I'm actually gonna take that off the eye right there so I have a little bit more room to flip. And there we go. A little bit of flip action. And one more time for those in the cheap seats. And go. Okay, I think we're good. It wasn't a complete disaster. <laughs> so at this point, I'm gonna turn down the eye a little bit more of the grilled cheese and let it toast up some more. And I'm gonna take our onions and I'm gonna put them in this light broth that I have here. And at this point in time, I'm gonna crank up the heat on our soup let it come to a boil, let it simmer. And when we come back from our break, I'm gonna finish the soup, show you what's going on with the grilled cheese sandwiches, make a little vinaigrette for our salad, and plate it up. Welcome back to the $20 challenge. I'm Chef Nikki miller Ka, and today I'm making inside out grilled cheese sandwiches, five onion soup, and spring salad with a French vinaigrette. So while we were on break, I finished our grilled cheese sandwiches and they are beautiful and perfect and inside out with that nice caramelized cheese on the outside. And I garnish it with a little bit of spring onion because it makes it look good. So uh, right now, I'm gonna finish our five onion soup and make a little vinaigrette for our spring salad. So our um, French onion soup, it um, has been simmering in the light broth, and now I'm going to emulsify it all together and make it taste really, really good. So you can use your food processor. I use my blender because technically, a blender is a food processor. And I'm just gonna make sure 
I get all of the onions, and I try not to splash too, too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend half of it right now, and then I'll blend the other half a little later. Make sure I get that little straggler onion. There we go. And you wanna make sure that when you blend or when you put things in a food processor, that because this is hot and the steam rises when you blend, make sure you either have a towel, I'm gonna use this paper towel, or you can use a hand towel as well to cover up the lid so that it won't look like an explosion. So I'm gonna start off slow. And I'm gonna add a little bit of butter because butter makes it better. And a little bit of brown sugar. So that butter is gonna make it a little creamier and give it a little extra flavor. And the sh sugar, the brown sugar, is going to uh, be a nice foil to the vinegar that we put in the soup earlier. So I'm gonna crank it up. And it's all emulsified. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Make sure it's up to Nick Snacks standards. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna set that aside for a moment. And now I'm gonna make a little vinaigrette. So in this bowl here, I've got a little bit of white vinegar, a little bit of powdered mustard, a little bit of ketchup, because mustard and ketchup go together, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So I'm just gonna whisk this together and I'm gonna add some vegetable oil and simple. You don't have, if you don't have a little bowl and a little whisk, that's okay. You can just throw it in a mason jar, or any jar for that matter, put on a lid and shake it, shake it, shake it till you can't shake it anymore. So when you make a vinaigrette, you wanna start off with little small droplets, and then you want the stream to get a little bit um, heavier because you want to start that emulsification. So I think we're good. It looks beautiful. Doesn't that look good? That nice, beautiful color. That's going to be so good on our salad. So now it's time for plating. Put these guys to the side. Got my bowl for my soup. Pour in our five onion soup. Ta da! Garnish it with a little bit of that green onion, just to remind you that it is a five onion soup. And I'm gonna take some of our green salad, so we have these beautiful fresh greens, and I cut up some of those carrots that we bought. Put that on there. And then, whoop, that's a nice green there. And then a little drizzle of our vinaigrette that I just made. So here we have it, folks. We've got inside out grilled cheese sandwiches, five onion soup, and spring salad with a fresh French vinaigrette, our meal for four. If you would like to cook this at home, I'll post the recipe on my blog, Nick Snacks, at nicksnacksonline.com. So let's see how this tastes. All right, I'm gonna start with the soup because it looks so, so good. And, oh my gosh, it is so good. You can taste all of the onions. You can taste the sweetness from the red onion, um, the brightness of the green onion, that little bit of vinegar, that little bit of brown sugar we put in at the end. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And then I'll get to the salad and the grilled cheese a little bit later. So to make this, I spent $2 for bread, 
$2.50 for spring greens, $5.38 for onions and chives, $7.62 for cheese and butter, 50 cents for a carrot, 75 cents for garlic, for a total of $18.25. If I can do it, you can do it too. Bring $20 to the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market and see how you too can create something delicious for your family with just $20. Thanks for watching the $20 Challenge. And remember, the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market is open every Saturday from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll be taping our next episode here at the Farmer's Market on June 6th at 10 a.m. Come out and see for yourself if I can pass the $20 Challenge. I'm Chef Nikki Miller-Kaw. Thanks for watching.